progressive hose lays. This hose evolution is designed for the efficient deployment of the inch and a half progressive hose lay during wildland firefighting operations. Hose may be laid parallel to the fire flank in terrain that is inaccessible to fire apparatus. Teamwork and communication are essential to this operation. When responding directly into a brush fire location, all PPE, including web gear, should be worn. The order is given for a progressive hose lay. Repeat the order. Deploy the inch and three quarter attack line to the anchor point, flaking out as much hose as is needed. Signal or call for water. The remaining members obtain hose packs and will meet up at the nozzle. An additional pack will be carried to maximize hose advancement. Starting at the anchor point, wet down the area and extend the hose line. The last hose member will monitor the remaining length of hose, calling out 10 feet, 5 feet, hose. The nozzle member stops his forward movement upon hearing hose using a circle roll. At the end of the line, remove the hose from the nozzle member's pack and place in the green. The nozzle member will secure a safe working area by wetting down the surrounding area and monitoring fire behavior. Give the female coupling to the nozzle member. The nozzle member will shut the bale, disconnect the nozzle tip, and couple the two sections of hose together. The hose member will remove the male coupling from the pack and attach a nozzle. The hose member now becomes a nozzle member and will extend the line after the hose is charged. Secure the nozzle to the hose line and secure the bale in an open position. The hose line is extended. The last hose member again calls out 10, 5, hose. Using 50 foot donut rolls and 100 foot donut rolls. A hose member will remove the hose from an available person's pack. The hose will be rolled out away from the nozzle person into the unburned area. 100 feet will be connected whenever possible. Upon signal from the nozzle person, the hose is clamped approximately 10 feet from the nozzle. Clamp the hose in the center of the clamp to prevent damaging the hose. The nozzle person bleeds the line and disconnects the nozzle. A gated Y or T may be put in the line as necessary. This will allow a lateral to be connected at a later time without disrupting the flow of water. Placing a 100 foot lateral every 2 to 300 feet will allow most areas to be covered. The hose leg continues to be extended following these same steps. Speed and efficiency are important to minimize nozzle downtime. Always remember, when working on a wildland incident, LCES, Lookout, Communications, Escape Route, and Safety Zone.